your pocket-sized Achilles heel mobile devices in modern life. Let's face it folks, we're all addicted to our phones. There are alarm clocks, bank tellers, personal assistants, and sometimes our only friends. But here's the kicker. These pocket-sized miracles are also our biggest vulnerability. We're walking around with our entire lives stored in these things. Bank details, embarrassing selfies, that weird rash you googled at 3 a.m., it's all in there. And yet we treat our phones with all the security consciousness of a toddler with a lollipop. The average person checks their phone 96 times a day. Each of those 96 times is a potential opportunity for a cyber attack. Imagine if suddenly, your phone turned against you. Your GPS leads you to a dark alley instead of your Tinder dates place. Suddenly that sleek piece of technology in your pocket starts to feel less like a helpful tool and more like a ticking time bomb. Digital Pickpockets, the tactics of mobile cyber attackers. Now, let's talk about the bad guys, the cyber criminals. These modern day pickpockets can empty your bank account while sipping a latte in a cafe halfway across the world. First up we have phishing. They try to trick you into giving up your personal information. Then there's malware. It sneaks in through seemingly innocent apps or attachments, then wreaks havoc from the inside. And let's not forget about man-in-the-middle attacks. This is when a hacker intercepts the communication between your phone and the internet. It's like if every time you tried to whisper a secret to your friend, some creep jumped between you and shouted, I heard that. Only in this case the secret is your password and the creep is selling it on the dark web. It's a digital game of monkey in the middle, and you're always the monkey. These digital desperados have an arsenal of tactics at their disposal. How they hack a layman's guide to mobile cyber attacks. So how do these digital delinquents actually pull off their nefarious schemes? Well, it's not as complicated as you might think. Let's start with phishing. Imagine you get an email that looks like it's from your bank. You, being the diligent citizen you are, click the link and enter your details. Congratulations, you've just handed over your banking information to a hacker. Malware attacks are a bit sneakier. You download what seems like a harmless app, maybe a flashlight app or a game, but hidden inside is a malicious code, it's like a digital Trojan horse. Man-in-the-middle attacks are like the eavesdroppers of the digital world. When you connect to a public Wi-Fi network, a hacker can intercept the data flowing between your phone and the internet. And then there's the old-fashioned method theft. Smart thieves don't just want your phone, they want what's on it. They use various techniques to bypass your lock screen and access your data. When your phone turns against you, the risks of mobile attacks. Now you might be thinking, so what if someone hacks my phone, what's the worst that could happen? First off, there's financial fraud. With access to your banking apps and saved credit card information, hackers can go on a shopping spree. They could empty your bank account faster than you can say, I should have used a stronger password. But it's not just about money. Your phone is a treasure trove of personal information, emails, photos, contact lists, your entire digital life is in there. A hacker could use this information for identity theft, blackmail, or just good old-fashioned embarrassment. Then there's the risk to your privacy. Many mobile attacks involve spyware that can track your location, record your calls, and even activate your camera and microphone. It's like having a tiny, malicious stalker living in your pocket. Every conversation, every movement, every embarrassing song you sing in the shower, all of it could be recorded and transmitted to some creep in a basement somewhere. And let's not forget about the broader implications. If you use your phone for work, a breach could compromise your entire company. Customer data, trade secrets, that PowerPoint presentation you've been working on for weeks, all of it could be at risk. Laughing in the face of digital danger, a humorous take on mobile security. Now I know what you're thinking. John, you've scared the bejesus out of me. Before you go full Unabomber, let's take a moment to laugh in the face of this digital danger. We carry around these miraculous devices that can access the sum total of human knowledge, and we use them primarily to look at pictures of cats and argue with strangers. And now, these marvels of technology have become our biggest vulnerability. And let's talk about passwords. We're constantly told to use strong, unique passwords for every account. But let's be real, most of us are using the same password we've had since high school. Then there's the constant dance of software updates. Your phone interrupts you every five minutes to tell you it needs to update. And heaven forbid you ignore these updates. Your phone will punish you by slowing down to a crawl and randomly shutting off important features. It's like your device is throwing a temper tantrum. Real life horror stories, mobile cyber attacks that made headlines. Now you might be thinking, surely these mobile attacks can't be that common or serious. First up, we have the case of Jeff Bezos. In 2018, his phone was allegedly hacked through a WhatsApp message sent by the Saudi crown prince. Then there's the 2014 iCloud hack, affectionately known as the Fappening. 
hackers managed to access the iCloud accounts of numerous celebrities, leaking private photos across the web. In 2016, we saw the rise of Pokemon Go. A malicious version of the app was created that gave hackers full control over Android phones. And let's not forget about the 2019 WhatsApp spyware attack. A vulnerability in the app allowed attackers to install surveillance software on phones with just a missed call. The attack was so severe that WhatsApp had to urge its 1.5 billion users to update the app immediately. It's probably the only time in history that people were actually eager to do a software update. These real-life horror stories show that mobile cyber attacks are not only common, but can have serious consequences.